Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you notice the setup is a little bit different and same with the audio, don't worry, we're just doing some big changes here. I'll update you in the next couple of videos in the next few weeks and you'll find out exactly what's going on. But please bear with me today. I hope that the sound is not too far off from what it usually sounds like and that the backdrops aren't like a little bit too weird for you guys. But I'm back for an H&M haul. This is a very big kind of like summery haul that I have going on and surprisingly I got a lot of neutrals. Lately I have been getting neutrals, I've been getting a lot more colors so this kind of threw me off because I thought I was more into like the color game right now but I guess I'm not and I'm back into neutrals again. So as you probably know in one of my previous videos I shared that Peter and I are going to be traveling to Spain soon with Mel and Dave. We're gonna be leaving, I think, in the next like week and a half or two weeks. I'm not exactly sure when in comparison to when this video is gonna go live. But if you follow me along on Instagram, you can check me out right here. You can see our adventures in my stories and kind of like see what we're up to. But in the meantime, I wanted to do some shopping to get some fun new outfits to bring with us to Spain since I've been wearing just like, a lot of like loungewear at home. But now that I'm looking at this stuff, a lot of this is like really comfy loungewear anyway. So I don't know if that really defeats the purpose of finding cute outfits to travel with but either way I digress I found that these are really cute comfortable and I think they're not only gonna work for Spain but for back home afterwards and to wear around the house so that more than just one use. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. We're gonna start off with the first item and I think this is actually probably the most colorful item that I got from this entire haul now that I'm looking at it. And it is this cute little crop top that is nice and green and floral. I hope you guys understand what I mean when I say like colorful once you see everything else after this. But this has the most color in the entire haul. And I don't know, I feel kind of weird now that I'm looking at it compared to everything else. This might be a little bit too colorful for me. You guys know that I like green. I was drawn to it originally because I have an affinity towards that color right now. But I think this is a little bit too pastel and I'm not really loving the dainty blue and pink flowers that are on this now that I've been able to kind of like see this in person. It looked really cute online, but I think that it reminds me a little bit too much of like a child's smock top. So this will definitely be a no for me, although it's really cute and it's gonna be great for summertime if you want something breezy, airy, and light and flowy for like a hot, hot day, highly recommend. I think they have this in a couple of other colors too, so I might go back online and revisit them to see if I can find a different color that I like, because I do like the cut, I just don't really like the color of this one. So a similar style to that top is this white one. It's kind of also like a crop top ruffle, but that one in the back, it didn't have a crisscross, whereas this one it did. And I kind of like this. It gives a little bit of back detailing. If you're very adventurous and you have smaller boobs like I do, then you can probably also wear the back as a front and have a little crisscross in front of your chest. I think that'd be a really cute detail in the summer. Just have like a lace up in the front. Overall, I really like it. It's a super breezy, lightweight, comfortable top. And at the same time, it's not too heavy on your body too, even though there is quite a bit of material. The only downside though, is that because it is kind of like a more linen-y texture and white it's slightly see-through so do make sure that you wear a bra underneath this or a nipple base to kind of cover that up if you don't want anything showing through because yeah it's a little bit transparent but overall a great top for summertime and this is also a really good one where you can wear with a bunch of different bottoms whether they're like pants skirts or shorts or you want to wear this over top of like a silk slip dress I think this would be a really cute layering piece and I can definitely see myself wearing this for multiple summers not just this one since it is a more neutral I guess cut and color but still girly and feminine and fairly cute the only other piece from this haul that genuinely has color is probably this like empire waist white dress with little blue flowers on it I know I said I didn't really like the blue flowers on the other top but this one's actually cute because it's a little bit more dispersed and not as I guess closely clustered together so I'm okay with that I think it looked really really adorable the material is also extremely lightweight and so floaty this is gonna be perfect for Europe and perfect for all the hot summer muggy days I absolutely love it it came a little bit longer than I expected I thought it was gonna be more like a midi dress style but it goes down almost all the way to my feet so my only concern with that it would just be like maybe a little dirty if I'm walking around in this all day but it's so lightweight and I know that every time I go to Europe I sweat up a storm so I don't want anything that's like clingy to my body so I really really like that the only downside that I have is that the waist is not like super adjustable they have a tiny elastic on the back here but it doesn't give that much give I would definitely try this on and make sure it fits you and can comfortably take it on and off before committing to it because there were some parts where it got stuck over my shoulders and I was like hey Vic like how do you take this off now it's really really cute but I mean it has to be able to come off the good side though is that the shoulder straps 
are adjustable. So regardless of like what size boobs you have, you can either lengthen or shorten them to kind of like make it accommodate and fit your body. I really like it. I love how dainty the straps are and there's a little tie in the back here. We can tie a bow and it's nice and long. So it's going to be like a cute little detail where it kind of just hangs off your back. And I think it just looks adorable. It's like the daintiest simple little dress but super comfortable and like fairly modern and trendy without looking like you can only wear it for one summer. So this one's definitely gonna be a keep for me because I think it's just so easy to wear and it looks really adorable too. We are now moving on to two tops that like I kind of regret, but they looked really cute on the model online, which is why I got them. First up is this black top. As you can see, it's just like a ribbed jersey detail that crisscrosses across the front and it looked really good on the model, but I don't know about me. Usually H&M is like a half size larger than what I would typically feel like I'd fit in. So extra smalls usually are very comfortable on me, but this one was extremely tight and very petite. So I would actually recommend sizing up in this for a more comfortable fit because it only crisscrosses in the front. I thought at some points it was gonna just like burst open and show my breasts everywhere. So that's something that I want to recommend at Word of the Wise. And because it is a ribbed jersey material, it kind of cuts into your skin a little bit when they finish it on the edges here. So highly recommend sizing up in this top. Besides that though, it's really, really cute. I love the detailing. The strings are extremely long, so it's easy to accommodate for anybody's torso size if you're a little bit wider and you need more space. I wrapped it around twice comfortably. If you're smaller than me, you can probably do three times, but it's a really, really cute top. And again, you can pair this with so many things such as like a bikini bottom if you don't want to walk around with just a bikini top when you're on the beach and like really stretchy and comfortable so I love this one got the exact same top also in white this one I think gonna be returning though because the white is a little bit see-through and because it is a crisscross in the front I don't really have any bras that accommodate this besides nipple basties and I don't wear that many of them and if I'm gonna be hot in the summer they usually kind of just like slide off me with the heat and the humidity so unfortunately although this one is really really cute I think because it is a see-through material color it's just not gonna work for me so I'll definitely keep it the black one because that one fits really well but if you guys are looking for a white crisscross top H&M has some these ones are very affordable it's from the divided line as always I will link everything in the description box down below so that you can check it out for yourself if you would also like to snag one for yourself so moving on to some matching sets I saw these and I thought they were too cute to give up so I just want to show you them I'm definitely not going to show you them modeled on just because the material is very thin and see-through and I think I actually prefer to buy these as loungewear to wear at home as to to wearing out but I'll just show you what they look like up close it comes with a matching set it's this very very thin lightweight ribbed material there are these kind of like boxer shorts on the bottom and there's a little patch that says original wear and it also comes with a matching kind of like muscle tank as well so this one is in the beige nothing crazy about this one it also says original wear on the bottom here so you have one on the top and one at the waistband of the shorts these are very comfortable, like I said, super thin, lightweight, really easy to stretch and put on. The only thing I didn't love is the collar here it only has a finite stretch to it. So if you have a really big head, you might have some troubles taking this on and off. And I think the material over time is going to stretch out and it's going to start to kind of like ruffle at the front here. So I didn't love it that much. And because it is very, very see-through, like you can see everything to the top especially in the bottom. If you're wearing underwear, you can see VPL and also whatever color underwear you're wearing. So I wouldn't recommend wearing this set outside of the house, but in the home, very, very adorable. Unfortunately, this is not the vibe I was going for for some of the pieces that I was picking up to be able to also wear in Spain. So I will be returning this set for sure. But all in all, it is very adorable. And if I was buying loungewear for just the home, then I'd definitely pick this one up. So in the same line as that set, I also purchased the exact same one in this kind of like heathered gray color. Also love it. The fit is great. But once again, the problem is that it is very, very see-through. So unfortunately for this set, I probably also will be returning it as well because I wanted to be able to wear stuff with me to Spain. And at the moment, this is very much looking like a home piece. So although it fits really cutely and I like it, it's very affordable. I'm probably going to be bringing this back to H&M for a refund since I can't really wear it out because you don't want to be revealing all that stuff when you're outside. So while I was looking at loungewear, I found these really cute boxer looking shorts that I really liked and I picked them up. They look like men's boxers, but they're actually for women. And there's a black one and also a white one. I'll show you those in a second. These ones are more of like a stretchy rib material, which I like, and the waistband is quite thick. It's actually so comfortable. This black one is not see-through at all. So I think I might just grab this and bring this with me to Spain because I think it's a really cute look if you wear this with kind of like a borrow from the boys oversized men's dress shirt that like really relaxed lounge look. And if I really want, I'll just pair this together with a pair of like a black workout bra and an oversized shirt and it'll be that quintessential cool girl 
I just woke up at my boyfriend's house casual look that everyone's aiming for this summertime. I just really like how it literally looks like a man's pair of boxers. I think it's really cute. So definitely keeping this one. I tried it on. It's really stretchy and comfortable too. So I love it. It's easy to move around in. It doesn't feel constricting. And because of the elasticity in the material, it doesn't feel like it's going to stretch over time too much and create ribbing at any of the hems. So highly recommend this. Also fairly affordable and I just like how comfortable these ones are. I did say I picked up the matching white pair too. It looks like this. Now the white is a little bit see-through as always, um, but it's not bad because it's a thicker material than that kind of like ribbed cotton jersey one. It's that elasticated material. My only concern is that because it's white, I think it's going to get dirty really easily. And this is that really soft elastic material that will pull over time so that's something to keep in mind if you're sitting down over time you may get little pillings around the bum area or you're gonna get like snags so personally I think I might actually be keeping the black one and returning the white one just because I don't know the white one it's a little bit too risky for me and I don't want to take that chance but it is really cute really comfortable not overly see-through and I just like how it looks like men's briefs so cute next up is a dress I'm gonna show you guys three dresses overall um, I don't know why I keep buying this material it's hard to see what this looks like online until you see it in person and then the minute I see it in person I was like oh that's that's what I bought so this is gonna be going back for sure if you can get my sentiment it's this really chunky ribbed knit dress in like a super thick heavy material it's like a poly acrylic or something like that this one is 70% viscose I don't really like it because I find that this weighs down on you a lot and over time it's gonna stretch the overall look of the garment and it is a fairly long dress so in due time the bottom will get really heavy and the top just kind of like stretches out and doesn't look that cute on you so because of that I will be returning it I do love the color overall though and the overall cut that it's starting with. It's more of like a very simple basic tank dress with thick rib knitting on the edges and the bottom also has a little cutout on the side too. Really easy to move around. It's a cool to the touch type of fabric so it's really comfortable to wear in the summertime. I just don't think that I'm gonna like the weight of the dress and I want something that's a little bit more lightweight when I'm moving around especially traveling in Spain so this one will be definitely going back to H&M for sure although I wish they remade this in a lighter material that was a little bit more portable and comfortable to wear for like every day but if you're somebody who just wants to wear something like this at home during the day in the summertime then yes this is great my intent for this haul was to find travel friendly outfits and this one didn't quite hit the cut so it's going to be going a street back to h&m for me okay this dress also the exact same material it looks really cute because i saw a matching pair of shorts and t-shirts i was like let's grab the dress too and see what it looks like it's this white version that has a collar instead of being cut at the top and it has a v-neck and sleeves it's like a really really oversized polo tennis dress but it's also once again a line with slits on the bottom again the same sentiments because the material is so heavy and drapey it's going to weigh down on you crazily over time that I don't think I'm going to really like it. So this one is definitely going to be going back. Although it was really cute and I do like how it fits. It's just not making the cut for my travel like essentials checklist that I need. Which is like lightweight, airy, breezy, and cute. It only just checks off the cute part. And I don't really want to buy a dress that doesn't hit everything. If I want to be versatile and wearing my things with me everywhere I go. So unfortunately, although it's really, really adorable. It will be going straight back to H&M. So I mentioned that I originally stumbled on a dress because I found the matching sets. So the shorts were actually completely sold out. So I actually picked up the pants in the ribbed white version. And I actually really like these. They're super high-waisted, but it doesn't cut into your waist where the thick waistband is. And you don't really get much of a camel toe in the front here. Granted, it is still white, so it's a little bit see-through. So I definitely recommend wearing like skin colored or white underwear underneath so that you don't see anything. But I really like it. And even though it's that heavy material, it doesn't feel heavy on the pants for some reason. I think it's because it sits on your hips and not on your shoulders. So the weight's not like coming down just on two straps where it's evenly distributed around your waist. I don't know. I really like it and I think I might actually just keep it as a pair of pants because I can wear this with a lot of other things. It is very versatile but the thing is that it's like vanilla white color so you do have to be a little bit careful with where you sit so you don't get stains on the butt. I definitely have got quite a few park bench stains on my bum is when I wear white pants. It's always a risk you have to be willing to take, but these fit so well and are so comfortable that I think I might just actually keep these. And I might even bring this with me to Spain and just wear like crop tops with it. I think that's where the versatility comes in. I can wear this with so many different outfits. Then it doesn't feel that like I can only wear it once and then if I get annoyed, I can't wear it again. So 
These ones will definitely be kept in my closet even though they're a little bit heavier and I don't know, I just feel like there's more versatility to this than the dress. I got this top with the intentions of it matching the bottoms, but unfortunately I don't. And I said that there was a matching pair of shorts, which I couldn't get, which is why I bought the pair of long pants. So I think I'm actually going to be returning this top. As you can see, it's very similar to the dress, but the rib knit detailing is a lot thinner. It's not that thick striation. I really wanted that thick, chunky look and because the stitching doesn't quite match with the pants, I was hoping to be able to wear this with the pants. You'll see in the cutaway of me pairing it together so you can see the difference of the thickness of the stripes. But it's just unfortunate because I really wanted the shorts. It looked like the perfect kind of easy breezy summer outfit. I can definitely wear this to Spain. I know the material is very similar, but for some reason because it is just a shirt and not an entire floor length dress, it doesn't feel as heavy in the shoulders and much, much, much easier for me to wear. Every day I can rotate it out with like linen shorts too for a completely different look if I wanted to, but overall, I don't know, I'm just sad that the shorts were sold out because I was really hoping to get this as a matching set. So who knows, maybe I'll hold on to this for the time being and then I'll keep an eye on H&M in the coming weeks before we leave for Spain and see if the shorts come back in stock. And if they do, then I'll order them then so I can have the full matching set because I think it's gonna be the perfect beachside outfit. But if not, and the shorts don't come back before I can leave for Spain, then I'll probably be returning this shirt before we go just so that I'm not keeping it on my credit card for too long. But it is really cute and I just love the collar. It's so preppy and clean and just chef's kiss for a beach. Another dress I wanna show you guys and I have really high hopes for this one is wow i'm really liking rib knit jersey detailing right now it's this very very simple and lightweight kind of like tan colored dress although it's made of the same material as that white dress the 70 percent viscose it's definitely not as heavy because it's a lot shorter there's a lot less material going on i really like the fit of this dress my only issue is that it is way too similar to my skin tone so it completely washes me out but i love the fact that it grazes over your body so lightly it's stretchy and like conforming but not to the point where you feel like it's too tight on your body and you can't move around Around, which I'm not a big fan of when it comes to stretchy dresses so I just like that this one actually is just like so comfortable slides over like silk and isn't as heavy as the white one if this came in a different color I probably would have kept it but because the color is like really off against my skin I will be returning this one if you have like a lighter complexion or a darker complexion than me though I definitely think that this color of this dress will suit your skin tone really really well and complement it it's just I'm literally almost the same color as this so it just didn't look cute on me but I can recommend this dress more to anybody else it's so comfy and stretchy and just like hugs you in all the right places that makes you look really like snatched but for me i'll be returning it because the color is just like eh, not there for me okay so i got this for the slightly colder nights and i didn't realize how short the short part was it is again once again like a knit onesie with these shorts here i just thought this color is really cute it's like a beautiful taupey lilac color and again another rib knit detailing piece of item clothing. I don't know why I'm so drawn to this material right now or this style. If you guys follow my must have summer trends and you definitely saw that ribbed it is very, very popular right now. I stand corrected because this is literally what I'm wearing, but you know, love it. The arms are really long and stretchy. It's super, super soft material. It's like long enough for you to put over your fingers, which I personally like because I like, I'm the type of person that likes to like grip the hem of their shirts and the buttons are actually really easy to put on. I know sometimes when there's a lot of buttons going up the front, it looks a little bit intimidating. It does kind of look like a baby onesie. I, I know, I can see it, but it's really comfortable. It's super cute, very lightweight too. And if you wear this with like, say, a blouse wrapped around your waist, a pair of running shoes, and like a ball cap. You're gonna look like that really chill girl for summer. And this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to wear this in Spain for like the cooler nights when you wanna go out for dinner, you want something comfortable and relaxing. It's gonna be a lot of stretch for the food you'll consume because trust me, when you're in Spain, you're gonna be eating a ton of tapas. I cannot wait to consume all the tapas and paella. Mm. I'm just like drooling about it, thinking about it right now. So I'll definitely be keeping this one and I'm gonna pack this with me for any of the cooler nights because it's just so freaking comfortable. I just, I want more of these in a bunch of different colors. Okay, this set I got just for the heck of it because you guys already know I've been loving terry cloth a lot recently and I wanna try it out because I don't have anything in this color yet. And it is a matching kind of like poolside chilled collar shirt and a pair of shorts together. You guys know I already have a green one and I recently got a pink chenille one from Graylin. So I'm not quite sure if I wanna keep this one yet, but I really 
really like these because they're so easy and lightweight to put on perfect matching set super easy for you to create like one whole outfit without having to really think about it and you can still mix and match the pieces like I said in Spain we're going to be going to a couple of beach towns so these are always great pieces to have in your wardrobe arsenal to be able to throw over your bikini or your swimsuit whenever you're done swimming and hang at the beach and you want to go get like a bite of something to eat a really lightweight to put on and also moisture wicking because it is terry cloth although I know I don't like terry cloth but it's a fun texture to wear so I grabbed this beige colored one because I don't have anything in this color yet if you are more of like a neutral gal and you wanted that terry cloth matching set look then definitely check out H&M they have this I believe they also have a black one too so if you're more on the like black side then definitely snag that one all in all really comfortable super high waisted the only downside is that the shorts don't have pockets in the front whereas my other sets had matching pockets which I loved that was phenomenal so it's kind of annoying that these ones don't but still comfortable nonetheless the shirt is a little bit on the shorter side some of my other matching pieces have a longer shirt but it's totally okay with me I personally actually wear this one open with like a bikini top underneath it I think that would look really really cute so yeah run and grab these if you guys are a fan of these terry cloth matching sets definitely want to snag them before they sell because I feel like these are going to be a hot item for the summertime okay so that is it for my very neutral massive H&M haul of things I was hoping to pick up to bring with me to Spain I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of getting a quick glimpse of the items I might be keeping and shooting in Spain. You'll probably see some of these pop up in my feed within the coming weeks as I travel off and grab my fun epic travel photos again. Let me know which pieces were your favorite and if there were any that you think I definitely should return if I made a mistake of purchasing it and you're like, no Vic, you're never gonna wear that. Or like we've seen your other videos, that's definitely not your style because I would love to know and sometimes I do second guess myself too. So it'd be great if I could get a second opinion from you guys. But let me know what you thought about the video. As always, all the links will be included down in the description box below so you can check it out if you wanna get any of the pieces for yourself too. And if you wanna see more of me, you know where to find me on Instagram right here and on TikTok over here. I post on both of those platforms quite regularly, almost daily. But if you wanna see more of me on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed that way you get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Two videos go live every week, every Thursday and Sunday. I'm gonna try my hardest to get the video scheduled up before we go to Spain so that it's not interrupted. Um, but in between a lot of things going on right now and just like trying to be able to film, it's getting really tough. So please bear with me guys. For sure there will be at least one video a week. I'll just have to like readjust it and scale back a little bit. But ideally I wanna keep the two video a week schedule going. Cause you know, it's fun to film videos for you guys. And I know you guys enjoy watching them too. So thank you so much for watching today's video. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe and love you guys. Bye.